What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care today. We're gonna to show you how to change the fuel filter, air filter, and spark plug on your PB8010 or your PB9010 blower. And a couple things you're gonna need is, you're gonna need the do-it-yourself maintenance kit. Now this comes with your pre-filter and your air filter everything your your spark plug and your fuel filter this kit number is 90194y if you would like to go buy one next we're going to need some type of hook to get the fuel filter line out of the tank and then i have a 5 8 spark plug socket and a small extension with my 3 8 ratchet and that's going to be to get the spark plug out Next, you will need some type of gap gauge. And uh, what this is gonna do is this spark plug needs to be gapped to 0 0.026. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to unscrew the lid here. We can go ahead and pull this completely out and set it off to the side. Now you will see the black line down in there. That's what we need to grab with our hook in order to get this. Sometimes you can set this off to the side here to where you can reach it better or whatnot. Um, knock it down. Now I can see dirt down in there. Faux show. There is dirt down in there. So we're gonna end up cleaning that out uh, eventually as well. But let's get this fuel line out of here. And we're just going to pull that out all right so now that we got this out we're really just going to grab this and twist it and pull as we do it that's going to come right off of there watch this little piece right here you don't want to lose that little metal piece so make sure you have your new one and we're really just going to take this push it back on here and twist as we do it Just like that. All right. So the whole point of this is to make sure that this little piece right here, if you notice, there's a rounder part, whoop, rounder part right here. Let's see if we can show you that. There we go. Kind of, sort of. So, and as you can tell, this bigger piece right here is where that little wire piece goes to hold that line on there so you want to make sure it's on there all right so now that that's done we're just going to take this and what you do is you just twist this fold it up a little bit push it down in there and then tighten our cap step one fuel filter complete all right so the air filter is real easy all we're going to do is pull our two clamps off here pull this completely off there's our pre-filter in there, and then we have our air filter. It's pretty dirty, so we'll go ahead and grab our new air filter and our new pre-filter. Now, if you want, you could take this, wash it with uh, detergent and uh, some water, let it set, push down on it with a wet rag, dry it out, and let it dry and reuse this. But our new one comes with a brand new pre-filter, so we're just gonna toss it in there. Then our air filter comes right up. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. Take our new one, put it on, just like that. Then we just take this, slide it back over, and snap back into place. Air filter complete. All right, next we have our spark plug that is right here. So if you pull this off and out of the way, you can see our spark plug right here. So we're gonna take our five eighths, stick it on there. This is why I need the extension, just to make it easier. We're gonna loosen this up. Take this old one out, 
just like that. Put our new one in. So take that, push it down in there. Make sure you ain't pushing on this. Start it with your hand. Do not start it with the ratchet because you could cross thread it and do way more damage than you need to. Then once it's down in there, we're going to move this to tightening. And then I just use uh, a finger or two here and I use that to tighten it down in there. Once it gets, there we go, like that. Pretty snug, then I'm done. And then we just take our cord here. We're gonna put our coil back on. Come on, there we go. And then you'll hear it do some clicky stuff, so. All right, <clears throat> now that that's done, we wanna prime, get some new fuel going through that filter. Make sure we're on the on position. Set our choke. Should only have to pull it a couple times here. do start and run and now we're complete all right guys and just like that that's how you change the air filter the fuel filter and the spark plug and all this is done in less than five minutes so it goes pretty quick nothing to do it's the beginning of the season fixing a start that's when i like doing all my maintenance at the beginning of the season and then i go from there usually i do the uh usually i do the blower once a year depending uh, on how much dirt and dust and stuff. If the, the air filter starts getting a lot and I start noticing a lot of debris in the tank, then I like pouring all that old stuff, uh, try to get it out of the tank and changing the fuel filter anyway. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully this helped you on your blower. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I'm Danny and I will see you in the next one. Oh,